I wish Charlotte Bronte was alive so she could maybe rewrite the ending. Because he's like, oh, my angel, blah, blah, blah. I had to take a break because what is this 19th century flirting? Hi, welcome back to my channel. How funny that I'm wearing the uh, my Alice in Wonderland t-shirt. Oh, yeah, check it out. Look. I love it. Alice is one of my favorite female characters of all time. So my original plan was to read the book in five days, starting from Tuesday. I was supposed to finish it tomorrow, but I finished it today. Actually, before we move on to the vlog, I want to tell you just a little bit more about the book in case you don't know. So who's Jane Eyre? Jane Eyre is a young orphan who's being raised by her very evil aunt. Um, and the only person that she really likes is her servant, well, the servant um, at her aunt's house named Bessie, who provides just a little bit of love and you're gonna hear it in the following videos. I'm gonna read a couple of quotes um, about how just how lonely Jane feels at the beginning of her life. This novel is a buildings, am I saying that right? Buildings Roman? I hope I'm pronouncing that right but um, it's a type of, um, it's a literally genre basically that focuses on um, the psychological and moral development of the character. And it is definitely true to the genre. That's exactly what it does. The book is separated into five stages. And these five stages, um, like Jane is in different places, in five different places. And they all, like, you, you can see a lot of character development. And I just loved following Jane on her journey from, you know, being a um, child to being an adult. Hi! I usually use my lunch break for lunch, but I think I'm going to be eating in front of my computer. Because it's so beautiful out and I just feel like taking a walk instead of... Uh, having a lunch break. I'm gonna have a Jane Eyre break. Plus, look at these babies. Well, that was the best lunch break ever. Uh, and I didn't even eat. <laughs> oh, it was windy outside, yeah. Well, let me tell you, Jane Eyre is not living her best life. Um, and I just, I still have like two minutes until I resume with my shift. I want to read you something that I found like so sad. To this crib, I always took my doll. Human beings must love something, and in a dearth of worthier objects of affection, I contrived to find a pleasure in loving and cherishing a faded graven image, shabby as a miniature scarecrow. It puzzles me now to remember with what absur absurd sincerity I doted on this little toy, half fancying it alive and capable of sensation. I could not sleep unless it was folded in my nightgown. And when it lay there safe and warm, I was comparatively happy, believing it to be happy likewise. Hi, good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm getting ready to work. Um, and I just want to give you a little update. I did manage to read 100 pages. Well, actually, last night I was a little bit tired after work, so I um, listened to Jane Eyre, and that was great. Yay! <laughs> My challenge is going great so far. Hi, it is Wednesday morning, Wednesday night, <laughs> and we're checking in. I was actually going to listen to Jane Eyre, which I did for the past um, hour or so, but then I fell asleep. So I was like, it's maybe better that I engage my eyes. Yeah, audiobooks can be almost too soothing if you're tired. 
at least you know the the sound of the human voice saying things uh, kind of puts me to sleep if I'm tired all right so Jane Eyre is head over heels and she's jealous she's jealous man <laughs> but she's not jealous in that like I don't know she's jealous in a way um, that I would imagine somebody in the Victorian society being jealous yeah in a very respectful way but still she gets her point across it was so funny <laughs> also there's one character that's spooking me out I had no idea that Jane Eyre would be a little bit spooky but it is it's a little bit mysterious I'm really wondering how this aspect uh, I don't want to tell you too much but I I'm curious to see how it will develop throughout the book. I'm done with work for today and I'm gonna do some dishes. Gonna do the dishes and I'm like, hey, 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 I'm gonna do the dishes. <laughs> uh, but I'm so excited because actually I have these, the best investment ever. I'm sorry, I had to take a break because what is this 19th century flirting? Listen to this, this is at the end of chapter 19. Um, if all these people came in a body and spat at me, what would you do, Jane? Turn them out of the room, sir, if I could, he half smiled. But if I were to go to them and they only looked at me coldly and whispered sneeringly amongst each other and then dropped off and left me one by one, what then? Would you go with them? I rather think not, sir. I should have more pleasure in staying with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good morning. It is 7.30. My cat woke me up. She was like, you need to read Jane Eyre. Um, and you have an hour and a half to read it. My cat is very wise like that. My girl Jane, she's so in love and she doesn't know it. She's like, well, he's not a ghost, yet every nerve I have is unstrung. For a moment I'm beyond my own mastery. What does it mean? I did not think I should tremble in this way when I saw him or lose him or lose my voice or the power of motion in his presence. No, no, sir. Think of other subjects and speak of other things and in another strain. Don't address me as if I were a beauty. I'm your plain Quakerish governess. Ugh. No, Jane. Don't do me like that, girl. <laughs> but then she's like, because he's like, oh, my angel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I laughed at him and, and, and said this. I'm not an angel. I asserted, and I will not be one till I die. I will be myself, Mr. Rochester. You must neither expect nor exact anything celestial of me, for you will not get it any more than I shall get it of you, which I do not at all anticipate. What? <laughs> tell him, tell him. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I really enjoyed reading this book. In fact, I wish I hadn't read it so that I could read it again for the first time. Some people say that Jane Eyre is one of the first feminist novels, which I believe it is, and I can totally understand that some of the ideas expressed in this book are like very advanced or ahead of its time because this were let's remember that this was written in the 19th century and you know in the Victorian period so women were pretty much very submissive to men and I still found Jane kind of submissive but then fighting against it because while I was reading some of the ideas, I was like, Jane, come on, I mean, this is not what I expected of you. But then she she would surprise me, 
And in the end, I really like her. I, I, I love Jane. And uh, especially considering um, the time period when this was written. And I think Charlotte Bronte did a great job. While I don't really understand uh, the decision that Jane made at the very end of the book, um, I can understand it. <laughs> well, I don't understand. I can understand it. No, I can, you know, I, I, I see, I see what uh, Charlotte Bronte was trying to do. I love the fact that she really emphasizes working on yourself first, and then you're able to um, form a r romantic relationship with someone because you're happy with yourself. Uh, we could discuss it, you know, maybe I'll add like a um, spoiler discussion after this. I think that's what I'm going to do so that we can really discuss the things that uh, kind of bothered me a little bit. Um, and also the things that I found fascinating. Yeah, let, let's do that. If you're watching this, if you haven't read Jane Eyre already, please stop the video now because I'm going to reveal some spoilers. Okay, <laughs> welcome to the spoiler part of my video. So I'm no bird and no nut ensnares me, but yet, you know, so she's trying to gain um she's trying to be independent and then in the end she like the only way that she finds true happiness is through marriage i find that a little bit um, contradicting but i think the book may have and should have ended in a different way in which jane found happiness not with Mr. Rochester, because I really don't like the, the his character. I find him just manipulative and uh, just very unlikable. I, I don't like Mr. Rochester, and I don't understand why Jane chose to stay with him. That was very... That was kind of disappointing. I'm kind of disappointed by the ending. I'm so sorry to say that. But I, other than that, I really loved Jane. Another thing I want to discuss in Sir Rochester's wife, Bertha, who's locked up and insane. Um, there are a lot of interpretations. So there are people who, who's, who are saying that Bertha is actually Jane. But like Jane, that is completely oppressed and what can happen to a woman if she completely is submissive to uh, men. So that was interesting. Maybe Bertha represents all these colonized people that are locked up in the attic and that can't express their cultures and, and their true selves. So that's another theory that I really liked, and maybe maybe Charlotte Bronte was hinting at this as well. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, please let me know what you think. Ooh, what I really enjoyed was all the gothic imagery, all the supernatural, the spooky, mysterious. Um, that was great. Cause, you know, when I was reading Frankenstein, people said that Frankenstein uh, was supposed to be like a horror novel that contained supernatural elements, but I found Jane Eyre way spookier than Frankenstein. How funny is that? I love Jane's character. I don't think she stayed true to herself until the very end. Like... Up until here, she was like, she was her true self. And then at the end, I don't know what happened. Please let me know if you agree with me or not. But I, I think that she should have, she should have. I wish Charlotte Bronte was alive so she could maybe rewrite the ending. Um, because maybe she thought that was be she was being too revolutionary or too rebellious. Uh, for the time. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this. I mean, I wouldn't have read it in four days. I never read a classic. 
or never I've never read a classic in four days. Please let me know what your thoughts are, especially about the ending and about well everything I said. I'll be happy to discuss this in the comments. So uh, have a great day and have a great, hope you're having a great weekend. Bye.